Did you know you can use WinLink to spot yourself on the POTA website? Let me show you guys how it's done. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So from time to time, you may find yourself at a park location where you just have no internet service. In that case, you can use WinLink to A, spot yourself on the POTA website, or B, maybe you just want to hunt some other POTA activators. You can actually get a list of all of the current spots using WinLink. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and let me show you guys how simple this is. Okay, so let's start with taking a look at all of the current activations going on. In WinLink, what you want to do is you want to compose a new message. And you're going to send that to potagw at outlook.com. And I'm assuming that GW stands for gateway. So potagw at outlook.com. In the subject line, you're just going to type view spots all one word and that's it that's all you have to do you'll go ahead and send this message out uh, over RF and then you'll wait about three or four minutes make another WinLink connection and that's going to return those spots to you now let me go ahead and show you guys what th that looks like uh, for the sake of this video I went ahead and did this ahead of time because I am working strictly with RF right now on WinLink. So let's go ahead and open up the request that I did and you'll see that it gives you all of the current activations here on the screen. Now one thing I noticed after I did this is there is a couple of other options. It looks like you can use the dash P switch or you can use dash P and dash C to give you a different view when the email is returned to you. This also tells you that the text below is delimited with a pipe symbol. So if you want to import this or process this with some other uh, spreadsheet or something like that, you could import this data into something else or some other application, or maybe even uh, write your own bash script to process it. But that's how you get to see all of the current activations going on. Now, let me show you guys how to spot yourself. Again, we're going to compose an, uh, a new email. This time, your subject line is going to look different. So in your subject, you want to put spot, S-P-O-T, to let them know that you are spotting. You're going to put your call sign, so here, KM4ACK. You're going to next put the park number. In this case, I've put K-test, just so if this email gets automatically sent out, it doesn't look like I'm actually activating a park. But you would put your park number here. To the right of that, you want to put the frequency that you're currently working. To the right of that, you're going to put the mode that you're using, whether that's FT8, single sideband, CW, whatever that happens to be. And then finally, out there at the very end, you can put a comment of some description that we'll put in there. Now, in both of these cases, guys, whatever you put in the body does not matter. Everything that matters has to go in the subject line. Once you send this out, it takes it a couple of minutes, but you will be spotted on the POTA website. There you have it, guys. That's how easy it is to see all of the current activations going on or spot yourself on the POTA website. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.